Boeing's push for international sales isn't limited to its commercial 787 Dreamliner. On the defense side of the business, the company is aggressively marketing the V-22 tilt rotor at this year's Farnborough Air Show. After last year's debut at the Dubai Air Show, the U.S. Marine Corps is bringing four aircraft to display at the Royal International Air Tattoo and Farnborough for both flying and static displays. Would-be customers are taking note. The United Arab Emirates is likely to be the first international customer to buy the Bell Boeing aircraft, which was designed to take off and land like a helicopter, but fly around 300 knots, the speed of a fixed-wing aircraft. Israel could follow soon after, and possibly Canada, which is eyeing the aircraft for its search and rescue requirement. The Pentagon plans to buy 360 MV-22s for the Marine Corps and 53 CV-22s outfitted with specialized communications, navigation, and defensive equipment for Air Force Special Operations missions. The U.S. Navy has maintained a notional requirement of nearly 50 Ospreys to replace its C-2s, which handle passenger and cargo transfers to aircraft carriers. Bell Boeing's push at this year's show is bolstered by the aircraft's performance in operations in Afghanistan and elsewhere. The UAE is said to have taken note of the Marine Corps' use of the MV-22 in rescuing a downed U.S. F-15E crew last year in Libya. Pentagon officials are praising an improvement in the fleet-wide mission capable rate, as well as a 13% reduction in the cost per flying hour for the V-22. The aircraft, however, is unable to shake a tumultuous history of crashes and the tilt rotor's price has also been problematic. With a current per unit price of an MV-22 at $67 million, the Pentagon is far from its one-time goal of reducing the per unit cost to $58 million. And the U.S. Defense Department's recent decision to slice its buy in the next multi-year by 24 aircraft to 98 is putting further pressure on the price tag. Boeing and Bell officials say they will try to maintain the per-unit cost while reducing capacity on the production line. The industrial team plans to deliver 39 aircraft to the Pentagon this year, bringing the total number to about 200 in service.